Welcome back, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. And this game is starting to look like Civilization in the way that with Civilization I'm often like, okay, we'll just do one more turn and then I'll go to bed. Stuff like that. This is like, we'll do one more video and then I'll really quit. Uh, but I did take a break and I checked the list and updated some stuff, named some soldiers. So it's about time we uh, saw the ranks again. Some people have reached five. I'll just um, slowly scroll to the soldiers. So you can see the stats, the kills, the missions, the improvements, the experiences, the horrible disasters. Look at that, 10 and 17. That's a pretty damn sweet average. And I wonder how long you'll keep that up. A lot of these guys have come back from the dead, but some of them have been with us, with us for quite a while. We're still in the age of Private Creeper 1, who is uh, ooh, our fifth commander, I think, by now. And that's it for base Europe. This is the Africa base, which is also shaping up uh, slowly. Now people are getting some experience left and right. You see people with six missions in there. And others with a bit less. No real active guys when it comes to a lot of kills here yet, though. Well, some of these guys are shaping up rather nicely. The new Metal Canyon is in this base, number 5, and uh, once there's an open seat on the Sky Ranger, uh, he'll be in it at the front. Uh, he should be. Uh, we are in the month of August. Aliens are supplying their bases, as you can see. And I think this will be the month where we invent um, and hopefully build uh, at least one Avenger. Which means we'll need place for it. We'll need hangars for it. And um, yeah, we need the appropriate uh, stuff. Now there's one free hangar here. We'll build the Avenger um, at Europe. Because most of the stuff is already here. Alien Allies is here. Illyrium is here. Um, and we have an open hangar, but eventually I want several Avengers um, and they are so damn fast it doesn't really matter where they are stationed. Um, I think Base USA will be um, a proper place for it and I will also make sure that there are at least um, 25 soldiers on staff that can defend the base in case it's attacked, but um, those are the, I think will not be named ones. Those will just be um, you know, you won't see a lot of action if you're stationed here. So if you can, you can request to be stationed here uh, without any problem. I uh, can uh, probably make this a psionic training base. That's actually a good idea as well, I think. But uh, we have the money to do these kind of things. So let's. Yeah, I like that idea. And let's see what the aliens throw at us while we do our research and our building up. They're gonna retaliate. I guess there's gonna be a lot of retaliation now because we have been pissing them off left and right and they really haven't made a good foothold um, on Earth except for those two bases. They haven't infiltrated any nations. They've not really bugged XCOM in a way um, that, that hurt us except of course in the Ultimate Universe. But that's very hush hush. We're not supposed to talk about that anymore. Devilkin. There you go. Survived the first steps. Team Africa is getting more and more experience. I am contemplating, I, I should have checked who is leading this team at the moment as the highest ranking officer. Internet Spaceships 4. It's been kind of quiet around Internet Spaceships for a while. He went through his first couple of soldiers really quickly. And then he kind of um, went to Africa and, and stayed there for a while, twiddling his thumbs. But it is time to get into action again. This might be a month where we encounter uh, Ethereals as well, and uh, I will run the heck away if they come. I won't play the mission. If it's Ethereal, I'll get back into the Sky Ranger and say bye bye. If it's an Ethereal UFO, I will try and plunge it into the ocean. I have no intention of playing an Ethereal mission. Okay, we now know that these guys cannot walk the stairs. Which means we know exactly where he is. He will stay put right there. It's a bit of metagaming, but... This is the building, right? This is not the right building? It is the only building. There he is. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a metagame decision, but uh, it's hard to unknow things. I mean, you can separate player knowledge and character knowledge and all that jazz, but uh, it's a video game, for Pete's sake. <laughs> right, now let's go, guys. I wanted to change my saving policy, actually, to saving a lot after those bugs. I haven't. And so far, it's it's not biting me in the butt. I have been saving faithfully in between every video, naming the save game video 21, video 20, and stuff like that. So, uh, if all else fails, we just lose a video at, 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 at the most. That's the worst thing that can happen. And I think it's fine. You don't want to see me save every turn, right? I mean, it gets really boring. Okay, it looks clear. You need a hole to walk through. Uh, that's not enough. That works. That works nicely. Check the orchard real quick and we'll head to the UFO. Horseloft fat. It's been ages since I saw you guys. Black tag as well. Good to have you good folks back. That's probably it. Yeah, real quick mission, no fatalities, bunch of alien alloys. And of course the guns help out in making money. Uh, Africa will transfer to Hawaii two plasma beams, thank you. And I think there's nothing wrong with building some of your own power suits here. Yeah, you have 70, so we can do 14. Go for it. Not that we need them right away, but uh, I want to have a stash of them just lying around. Is there already an interceptor? No. Yeah, we'll have a stack of power suits just lying around. Eventually we'll also build some flying suits once the tech becomes available. Whoops. Interesting. Sky Ranger 1 is fully loaded. There is a commander on board of this particular very large. However, I do suspect it will be a Dark Knight mission. Yeah, keep going. We'll find it again. In fact, patrol the area. There it is. These things do land. It, in fact, it has landed. These are waypoints, this is my color blindness. Oh no, it's not land, it's just flying around here. Uh, they're gonna build a base, and whether or not I kill this battleship, there will be a base. And it's gonna be a night mission. <laughs> Guys, this will be fun, because I am gonna go for it. We have also found the base. We have found the base, and this will be at night. We'll carefully arm all the soldiers, and we'll try and stun Every alien on the top floor. I'm not too sure if this is actually too heavy for you guys. In Open XCOM you see the strength and how much people can carry. That's a brilliant statistic to have on your screen. I really love that addition. Floaters in the night, Ravi 760, uh, this is one hell of a mission uh, to be on. Of course we'll give somebody the blast launch, I haven't been checking the names, but you can just, you know, uh, making the same motions over and over again. Uh, LL Phoenix is back. Uh, Alchemist is the guy that was constantly wielding the blast launcher, so we'll, uh, we'll keep doing that. Which means you don't need the Electro Flare, you can have one of these. Actually, you have two of these in the backpack. Uh, who would be in the front? I forgot. Horsium is probably one of the guys in the front. There's no way to get this out, I think. Weird. Or does it work like this? You just click it. No. Ah, never mind. It's in the Arctic, and it's not ideal. The aliens have better vision at night than we do. You need some luck to get through this with uh, little casualties. There will be, no doubt, some deaths. Okay, we landed reasonably well.
Not too sure if there are terror units on a very large. There might be some reapers running around, but they don't really scare me that much. And we'll just litter the map with um, with light sources. And I could actually, I, I, if I don't want to really go for a command, I guess I could wait them out again, like I did with the mutants, because floaters are pretty damn easy. They come running out of the UFO, they don't have any mind control actions or stuff like that. But that way we won't get a command. Well, we might get lucky. And you might simply live by random chance. I've had that in Open XCOM. Sadly, the game crashed afterwards. Horst, can you enlighten us? Yeah, thank you. I am tempted to just kind of wait them out, just clean the map and then park myself next to the access lift. There's only one way out of the UFO. This is probably plenty by the way, there might be a blaster launcher on the map. There was a grenade, I think. No, it wasn't. And there was indeed a reaper out there. Who fired? Who had the nerve? Aha! Nicely put um, electro flare there. Our commander will show how it's done. And by that I mean just not shooting anybody in the back. That's how it's done. Dragnon number three, Rookie. Uh, started off at with nice stats here. Welcome back to the team. Oh, somebody apparently shot Blitztank here. We'll patch him up in a second. I guess I could start bringing mine probes, just do the research, bring a mine probe and, and really hunt for that commander now actively. This LP has got to end at some point, I guess. I'm not in any hurry to do it, but... You need a commander if you, oh, if you ever want to finish the game. This is a job for Horst. Nice. Took a few shots, but it worked. 2600 to third. I think you also have a very good soldier, yeah. Very much, uh, very a lot of potential in it. And that's not a polite way of saying you suck. It means there's actually a lot of potential in it. Well, so far so good. This very large is being kind, but uh, let's not jinx it by uh, making ourselves a blaster launcher target. And let's shoot the dog. On our lawn. Keep that damn thing on your own lawn. Go shit in your own yard. Okay, these are the dark corners of the map. Let's see if we can uh, light them up a bit. In the next turn. This is dangerous the way I'm doing this by the way. I should throw it first and not wait until the next round. The aliens can sneak up on us now in the dark. And that's probably not a wise thing to do. An intact very large. That would be quite a victory here. Yeah, all better. Thank you. Blitz tank patched up. Sothros is cowering in the back of the sky rage. Look at him. The only guy left trying to hide in the corner here. No, you're getting out. Come on. You're a captain by now, for God's sake. Do some heroics. Nice. Very well reacted. That was a blaster launcher, I think. And that might be the end of the mission here. Ouch, 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 look at that, look at that. These were two blaster launches, probably. And it wiped out a bunch of people. <laughs> I 
our commander. Oh no, this is 2600. You cannot help yourself with the med kit, which means you'll have to get closer. Now those aliens might have actually hit themselves as well. Everybody here is panicky. How many people have left? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. <laughs> That is quite disastrous. That is quite disastrous. Let's forego getting a commander and let's just try and, and get away with a victory, shall we? This is all I can do. I think everybody's panicking now. Is there anybody who I'm able to move around? Not even the alchemist with the blaster launcher. Okay. Panic, 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 berserk. Yeah, well, at least you have a gun. Berserk on that uh, alien, please. There was one guy that was able to move. You don't have a weapon. Now you do. Make yourself smaller. Well, this is what blaster launchers can do to your mission. It is quite horrible. Now, I, this guy needs help. 0.2600 is bleeding out. I'll try and regroup with um, some other people here. Uh, Phoenix is actually in good health. Hasn't dropped his weapon. Uh, proven to be a good guy here. And, of course, with the Alchemist, who can launch missiles uh, a bunch of times. And we all know that there's an alien somewhere over here. This is dangerous stuff, by the way. I probably shouldn't do this. No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll want to make sure where the alien is. Damn it! Come on, alchemist. You're the guy in the sky range. You can't panic. And it would really help morale if you guys would just make a few kills here. <laughs> oh no, no, this is turning into a disaster of a mission. You might get squad wiped here. Gravy 760 has died. Everybody's berserking. If you guys would just keep it together, we might pull this off. Not gonna happen this way. This is probably a squad wipe. We're getting eaten and eaten some more. And I think Brian da Cruz is the only guy left. And the predators are converging. Ah, and that is it. I never expected it to be this bad, but that blaster launcher wiped us out. <laughs> Rating terrible. Well, let's rebuild. 16 new soldiers. Uh, we're gonna need a new Sky Ranger here, please. A new Sky Ranger 1. Luckily we have the money and the means uh, to pull this off. We recently got some Illyrium. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a stack of uh, armors already around. I can't arm... Yeah, I can't do the armor thing. I don't have a Sky Ranger. Um, base information. That's what happens if you go, well, let's play just one more video. You know, you get squad wiped on, on live internet. Yeah, five power suits are there, and uh, wow, this really hurt the organization in a bad way because a lot of experienced soldiers died, including the original alchemist and private creeper. This is how you guys met your fate. Floaters in the night were eventually um, where your luck ran out. Well, we'll keep on trucking. This thing is buggering off, and we have another base here, Alien Base 2. Which you can now play. I think they have three bases now, right? Or just two? Any retaliation, Europe. I think they did pretty much damage already. Enough damage already. Well, we'll take them out. And now, oh, the good part is we have Sky Ranger 2 for cleanups like this. Research was completed, we just didn't learn anything from it. Oh. Central Asia, yes. And we'll have Sky Ranger 2 clean up that uh, UFO here. 
I think those were two blaster launcher hits that just wiped us out there, and after that, uh, the people never recovered. They just kept on panicking, berserking. If people have, would have kept it together, I think I would would have been able to play the uh, play the mission with just five guys. I would have played the waiting game, of course, but uh, I think we could pull it off. It was not to be, sadly, and uh, it was pretty damn deadly. But this is what this game can do. I probably should save right now, by the way, because that's what wipe happened. I will. Uh, because this is uh, in mission. And if anything goes bad, we can just start over here instead of not getting spot wiped. It's permanent now. It's, um, it's done. It happened. It will not go away anymore. Now let's get some payback on these damn floaters, because they just cost us a bunch. These soldiers are gonna be the sweet. These floaters are gonna be the, f the, the, the sweetest floaters ever that we're gonna kill. We laugh at your puny heavy plasma. Well, not so much. It still hurt a little. It's it's stinging a little. Now kill him. Hurt him back. Let's avenge Sky Ranger one. Brave troops of Sky Ranger 2. I think somebody reacted uh, on from the roof here. And let's be damn sure that that was indeed the last time he reacted. I heard a door, maybe it just fell down, didn't die from the explosion. Still possible that there's an alien in this building here, we'll check it out. Boy, that was one heck of a mission. <laughs> I really thought it would be an awesome victory, even if we lost like six, seven guys. You know, it's 200 delirium in a battleship. A lot of alien alloys. It, it's like a month wages just by selling the crud alone. And there was, of course, the possibility for a command, but it was not to be. Maybe I could have played it differently. Maybe I made some mistakes. Please point them out if I did, but uh, I think it just went to hell. And that sometimes simply just happens in this game. Sometimes stuff goes to hell. Yeah, so far, so good. I guess we can chuck a grenade in the UFO. I tried it before, it didn't work. Now it did. Yeah, funny. Can make it just rain death upon them. Death from above. Well, this map looks uh, rather clean. I think the, the rest of them is probably inside the UFO or inside this building over here. We'll check everything. Okay, so far clean. love the sound of those footsteps. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hello. This is your payback. Bloody floaters. That's what you get. Wiping out a Sky Ranger like it's nothing. Apparently there's more. There might be more in the buildings indeed. Yeah, like like you said before, these things tend to get stuck on staircases, so uh, I'll probably sh oh, yeah, where, 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 where's that coming from? Where the hell did that come from? Probably upstairs, but I don't see it. Hmm. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna fire a hole into this particular area here, then I'm gonna get a grenade with Borgman here and chuck it onto the second floor. And that worked. Apparently it's not the last though. It's 
of course the ceiling is still intact for the most part, yeah. Might be aliens still over there as well. This might be a bit of a longer mission for such a small UFO. UFO is definitely empty. Oh, there's still buildings over here as well. Yeah, a bit of an iffy map. You're not bleeding anymore, right? No. Bit of an iffy map. Ah, excellent. We found him. Indeed, at the top of the staircase again. These floaters are predictable when it comes to that. Clean run for a change, and lots of promotions, of course. Captain K, Colonel, Colonel, Colonel. Okay, so we're gonna head to a new age of command. There's no hyper radar code in, in Hawaii. Ah. Somebody pointed out that you don't really need large radar systems anymore if you have the hyper radar code, but I'll stick with having both just to be sure. Not like I pay a lot of maintenance on it. Uh, let's see. Equip. Metal came back in and already had a power suit. I gave him that in between video somewhere. Um, let us play these missions. And uh, we have a little bit more firepower now over the Pacific. Probably the best base to be stationed at. A lot of surfing and sitting on the beach. How many bloody floaters are there? We've wiped out their civilization for sure now, right? Good shooting. Good shooting. Yeah, that mission actually pissed me off a little bit, losing a Sky Ranger like that. Two blaster bombs to the face in the same round. And not even our blaster launcher could save the day there. Check. That was over here. Nicely done. Make room and let the rest take him out. That's a uh, pretty good shooting there, guys. Well done. Your foe's empty. Was this it? Oh. No, and I hear, I'm hearing doors again. Probably just one guy running around. He's probably on the second floor, not able to get down. Oh! He is down! Are you hurt? No. Okay, run after him then. Kill him. Is that it? That is it. One dead, sadly. It is now the age of Devilkin the second. Who is our commander? Due to uh, extenuating circumstances. Uh, Devilkin, where are you? Sergeant Colonel. Are you at Africa? We have our first African commander. How times have changed. Nine missions, five kills. You are worthy of command, I would say. Bravery 60. Uh, you spent a lot of time in the gym from the looks of this. Very well, very good. How long before that Sky Ranger arrives? bit over a day. Okay, refuel. We still have a mission to play in... Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow if it's still available. The good US of A. These guys were on a retaliation mission. Let's show them what retaliation really means. Hmm. Empty so far. Okay, I'll leave it like... Oh no, we found something. In that case, we need some help. Okay, so far looking good. Is this thing intact? It could be. It could be, since the focus has now shifted to Africa and we have our first African commander and all that. Do you actually have it in your different... 
you have two of them. That's a bit overkill there. I know you're a commander want to show off, but uh, let's not try and, you know, act like we're in an action movie here. This is XCOM. We have aliens to kill and image is not really a factor here. Also, oh, Fat is uh, still a rookie. Here we go. Just hit the 30 minute mark, I see. And like I said in a previous video, I have other stuff to do. I just don't really want to get through it. This is like my way of, of what's it called, procrastinating. Making a let's play because I actually have to do other stuff, but this makes me, this gives me the illusion of doing something useful. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, after this mission, I'll, I'll really have to get going. But it was an entertaining one, it was a defining one because we lost Sky Ranger 1 and all hands aboard. Stop it! Bloody alien. Mafatu 3. He's one of the Mafatus. I think he's the only Mafatu still alive. Been a while since the man was, uh, was in there. Internet spaceship has the danger to Simon of, of holding that corner uh, there. You can fire and then step out, right? Yeah. Okay, I found him. He is, however, facing this way. Good luck. Should be it, right? It's not an I heard a door, damn it. The things you have to do just to get a little delirium these days. It's element 115, right? I think we discover that for ourselves. Isn't it like Unon Quadium or something? I've not been paying attention too much for all the new stuff. Oh! I think that stunned the alien as well. No, it didn't. There's an alien with a stun launcher in here. Hello. Come on, stun us. <laughs> I dare you. I'll block the door too. Right, I'm hearing doors. So it's not this building. Uh, it's probably over here. Devilkin, our brave commander. Ah, and another building behind that. Probably need to fan out a bit more, guys. If I want to finish this mission anytime soon. Might get some extra help as well. Blondstone. Let's uh, start running. <laughs> he did try to stun us. And he did knock himself out. What are you? An engineer with a stun launcher. Okay. And now we should be hunting the last one. Our commander paving the way. There's no doors open here. Ah, but we do spot them. And that is the last of it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I will have to save the game uh, real quick and when I get to it, I'll continue playing this game. We'll have to recover from losing Sky Ranger 1. But on the right side, it's four days and then all of these wonderful Scilabs are done. And maybe I should just hire 30 soldiers and stick them in there and don't use them as, as like backup because mind control will change the game and once we hit that particular stage, um, nothing can stop XCOM from beating the alien invasion. See you next time.